in loop. This video is about uh, public transport services, especially buses. Um, so when you use public transport lines and stop, you can define um, public transport services in great detail. So how to create them? So you control right click where you want to start and left click where you want to end. Um, so it basically creates like this route and it automatically moves the um, start at, of the line at the entrance like a vehicle input. And then when you have the route set up, you can create, uh, you can amend it similarly to the vehicle routes. You can create these intermediate points with control right click. So you can set it uh, to the route you want. And when you double click on the PT line, um, I'm going to focus mainly on the imports on settings. And so you can change vehicle types. Um, if you want to use different ones, you need to define them before. Um, the default is 5 km per hour, but you probably want to increase it, otherwise it creates uh, some problems in your network. Time offset is used um, against the departure times you set, because the departure times you set there is the time when the bus actually gets loaded into the network. So if you want, if you have a stop here, and those departure times represent the uh, departures from that stop, you just set out, uh, you calculate the time how much it takes to get to that stop and how much it takes to exchange passengers. So if that takes one minute, you put 60 seconds here. And that way uh, the bus will arrive before the departure time. And then uh, it will leave as your departure time setups. <laughs> uh, entry time distribution is for is to have a, a randomized entry uh, time so the departure times will be randomized a bit by these here. Slack time fraction is not something you're going to use, probably. It's a relatively new option. It's if you want to have, uh, I think, from a bus stop uh, for some buses to leave earlier than your schedule, but it has a very specific use. So don't worry about that. Just leave it as it is. Departure times you can add manually times. So you want add zero second for a bus to get loaded to the network. And we want one at uh, two, min uh, yeah, two minutes after. And every two minutes, then you just basically do that. This tele course is, um, Telegram course is, if you want to use PT telegrams, it is for more like a detector kind of thing. So it sends this data or these signals you can use in logics and stuff as well. And um, as well is to evolve for evaluation, but you can read it here, but probably you're not going to use it. And if you want to use it, probably already know how to use it. I never used it in my life. And the occupancy, so if you want uh, for the buses to arrive um, with passengers on it already, you can set it like uh, 10 guys, uh, 20 passengers and 40 passengers on it. And just to quick one, so you don't need to model public uh, these PT lines with passengers, you can just run the buses without them to keep things simple. But if you want to model pedestrians getting on the bus, lab, lighting, boarding, you can do that. So you set these up here and you can also generate times um, if you want to automatically. So you set when it starts. So let's say starting from zero, going for an hour and in every 10 minutes, there will be a bus. This course is related to that telegram course. So just leave it as it is. And occupancy, you can set it to 10 if you want to have uh, 10 passengers on each vehicle. And as you can see, it merges your previous uh, individual setups with the frequency. And you can edit it by deleting or adding more to it. Yeah. And how to add stops. When you add stops. <laughs> um, okay. As you can see, when you click on the PT line, it is shown as green. So this means by default, the stop is not active for the for this service. So what you can, what you need to do, if your route goes through a stop, it will appear here. You make sure your line stops is selected. It appears here. You need to set active 
attribute on. You can also double click on it and you can see the same active setting. You can skip it if there is no passenger on the bus and at the stop. If you don't set it, it will stop. And change of driving direction probably is more for trams, so you don't want to worry about it for buses. And dwell time can be calculated by a distribution, just the time distribution. If you want to say that approximately half a minute bus is spent, spent in the stop, then you set it. Or if you model pedestrian or passengers, you can set an alighting percentage. Um, if you have 10 on the bus and you have 100, then all will um, get off the bus. Uh, <laughs> just a quick one. If you have multiple lines, if you want, if you have multiple public transport lines, um, whatever you set up here, it's applicable for that line and not for this one. So you can have different settings for each uh, line in that for that stop. Um, and so if you saw when I created this line and the stop was on it, it set it active, but if you already have the stop and put the service later, it's not active. So be absolutely sure that you always check that what is active, the one is active you want. Um, another one, when you have a stop, and you want to have a lay-by, if it's not a, like a multi-lane uh, link or something, you can right-click on it. You just need to make sure that probably the stop is selected so you can actually select that bus stop. And if you select that bus stop, um, you can add a platform, um, sorry, a lay-by stop. So it moves it there. You just need to make sure that you move the line, the route onto it, and then you again set it to active. Um, when you do that, <laughs> conflict areas are also created automatically. And one other thing is when you model it with actual passengers, you can create platform edge left or right, or both sides if it's a tram, for example. And this platform edge is used for pedestrians to alight and to board the bus. When you double click on it, you can set it, but this is more like a pedestrian modeling, so I don't go into that detail at this point, uh, in this video. But when you open it <laughs> by selecting the public transport line first and then double click the stop, you can see it brings up a lot more settings. So you can select different um, compositions for boarding and alighting, you can set locations where you want them to alight and where you want to board them. So which side, front, rear, late boarding possible so it will wait and that is the delay. And again here um, you have these settings, you have them without the um, this edge or what is it called, the um, uh, this platform. You can set up some further um, timing and uh, offsets for the stop. And when you click on the stop, you also can see that it's for PT line 1, PT 1 stop. And the um, this platform 1. So, yeah, uh, you can also um, access all the attributes here or you can add more from there. But I think with this, you should be fine to do that. If you're interested to see how to actually model the pedestrians onto here and away from there, I can make a video about that too. 
Um, if I miss something, let me know in the comments or if you have any questions. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Or if you want to support my channel, uh, please do that by going to my Patreon page and sign up uh, as a member or a supporter. Thanks for watching.